Hey YouTube, it's Rover13 and I'm going to be doing a extensive review on the uh, Virgin Mobile Optimus V. Uh, it's the it's the new Android phone for Virgin Mobile. It uh, it goes for $150 at Radio Shack or on the website or any any other store, and um, you can get the $25 a month plan, which is 300 calling minutes. Uh, unlimited data and unlimited texting that's what I have and there's also two other plans that uh, you can see on their website so you guys posted a couple comments in the comment section of my last uh, uh, phone video and I'm gonna try and get through all of them in this video all right so one of the questions was what is this case so this case I'll pop it off right now this case I actually bought from the mall when I was there with my girlfriend um, over the weekend and all it is is this plastic it's a clear it's kind of like a smoky color plastic case and it's uh, it's two parts I, I honestly do not know what the name is but he didn't give me a case he just this is just in one of those kiosk things and I bought this and uh, so there's no there's no brand name on it I really cannot tell you what this case is it's just a uh, it's a hard shell two part case and it just snaps on like this. Just put the phone in and put this in and they snap all of the parts in like that. And there you go. It's a pretty cool case. I like it. Doesn't add any bulk to it and it's just it's a good case to have <clears throat> especially for a touchscreen phone cuz you don't want the screen breaking or anything like that. So that's the case. Um there's not much I can say about it because I really don't know the brand, but I'm, there's a million cases like this out there. Just search for them. All right, the second question that I see is what's the battery life like and how did I get that battery percentage up in the left-hand corner? Um, how I got the battery percentage is very easy. It's this app called, right here, Battery Booster. Okay, just search that, Battery Booster. And this gives you a... a uh, it shows you what your battery is like, how much percentage is right there, if it's in good health, what the status is, uh, and all that other extra stuff. So, if you go into, if you download the app, it's free in the uh, Android market. I'm gonna click the settings button, which is the bottom left hand button right there. Click that. This will pop up. Okay, you're gonna click settings, and then sh click on show notification icon. Okay, and that will show up right up there. So if I click that off. See, it goes away. Click it again, and there it is. So that's the uh, notification icon is what gives you the, um, it's what gives you the percentage. And it shows up right here, and it just stays like that. It says ongoing because it keeps it going and stuff. That is a good app to save battery because I had that installed, and it has been helping with my battery. Um, another quick, another, um, another app that you should get that I have is called Quick Settings right there um, it's really really useful I think it lets you change the uh, brightness of the screen right there change the ringer volume control Bluetooth Wi-Fi GPS receiver uh, 3g airplay mode Wi-Fi hotspot all this extra stuff you can also go into here and go down to um, customize and then you have all this extra stuff like auto rotation auto sync unlock pattern all of this it um it's a quick easy thing to do so if you're uh, if you're in your house and you want to turn on Wi-Fi just click that and then click the Wi-Fi button and it'll turn the Wi-Fi on and when it obtains the IP address it'll turn your 3G off so if you watch so now it's connected to mine and then my 3G turned off so now if I turn the 3G on it turns the Wi-Fi off and turns the 3G on so now it's connected to 3G um, it's a really nice app to use and then also I like this if I go up to here and press this battery button right here It'll tell me how long it's gone without um, being charged. So I have gone five and a half hours uh, plus a half an hour when I had my phone off. So almost six hours now, and um, I've been ha I've had 3G on all day, and it's been it's been having a good signal so far. And I'm at 58%. So the battery life is pretty good, even with 3G on. I have it on all day. I I it uses it sends me emails constantly and stuff. Um, and I have it synced with my email so it keeps searching for it. So constant 3G doesn't kill your battery that much. So without the 3G, you'll have a great battery, I think. Um, if you don't, however, I have a few comments in here that says your battery life is not very good. Download this app. It is called 
Uh, advanced Task Killer. Okay, ATK. I know some people have heard of this, and I and people have said that uh, this actually makes your battery worse. I don't believe that or understand why they're saying that at all. This helps more than anything, I believe. This, uh, this, this app will kill the apps that you aren't using, such as see, I have the Weather Channel, Gmail, Quick Settings, MP3 Music Download, um, and I'm not using them, so you can kill them, which means you turn them off. It's not using your background data or your background memory, and it's not wasting any more battery. Also, if you click, if you go into it, you go into this, and you can check the ones that you want to kill. So if you want to kill those, check them and then click kill. Or you can click the settings button, bottom left hand button, and you'll get this. Click on settings, and it'll bring you to this long settings list. Um, you can, what I do, this is, these are my settings, and I have pretty good battery life, so if you want to uh, copy what I do, you can. If you want to do your own thing, then go ahead. But I go into auto kill level, click on that, and I have it set to crazy, which means it will disable everything that I'm not using. So if, I'm, if I click on something, I'm using it, and then I exit out, it'll disable it, okay? So that's, it's, it's easy, it's, uh, it, it's so I don't have to worry about it. Also, you can click on auto kill frequency, and I have it set to... Um, with when screen off. So anytime I, I click the lock button, it'll kill every app that I'm not using and every app that is not in the ignore list. The ignore list is so that if you want to have apps that you don't want to ever kill, such as your uh, mail, so, so I have mail, messaging, and the battery booster apps that I don't, I don't want them to be killed. Um, so I put them in the ignore list. And to do that, you go into the regular thing like this and your app will be on there. You just click and hold it this will pop up and then you click to you click ignore click ignore and it'll send it to your ignore list and then you can find your ignore list by going into settings ignore list and it'll be right there if you want to get rid of something you just click it and it'll erase it <laughs> it'll erase it from the ignore list so it's back on the regular um, list so advanced task killer it's a great app to uh, save battery I believe don't listen to anybody else this does work um, I use it all the time I use it every day and it saves my battery a ton. And I have constant email communication, stuff like that. So advanced task killer, try it out.